Hello, this is Goku for the someone, and I'm back. This time to do a response to a response. So, what pisses me off did a response to a John Campia video. I haven't seen John Campia's video, and I will not be responding to exactly what he said. I am responding to what pisses me off, because this is the time we actually vehemently disagree. So his video goes on talking about how he prefers practical effects to CG. And if that's your preference, fine. There's nothing wrong with your preference. You can always have a preference. But I, but overall, I think we should be working towards using 100% CGI. And I'm going to get into that in a second here. But the example, I don't know the example John Campy used. He, he kind of lays it out. It's a Fantastic Four movie, something in it that they should have done digitally instead, that they, they did it practically. I don't know. But the example I always like to use is a burning building. You can do a burning building practically, but you're endangering people's lives. So it's better to do it d during CG. Now he goes in saying that CG takes you out of the experience. And yes, that is a fair, that is fair, but that's bad CGI. The biggest thing that he says in the video, and I'm going to get to a few details in a minute here, but the biggest thing he actually says in the video is that it's lazy. Well, say that to an animator. It's not lazy. It's very, very hard work to animate these things. These people get horribly underpaid. They work insane hours. So no, it's not lazy by any definition of the word. It's extremely hard work to do CGI, but you can do anything. What you like and ultimately what can make for a better film are two different things. We are used to, to comic book characters, how they look in the comic book. If you could translate that one-to-one -to, -one to a film and just have a CG character that looks like a live-action character, you could, you would take away some of the issues people have. And then you just find a voice actor. We're getting to movies that are almost one-to-one, one-to-one, -one, like the Resident Evil uh, CGI movies, the Final Fantasy movie that came out like ages ago. I think that was like 25 years ago actually or 20 years ago it was an insanely long time ago i think it was 2007 it's so like yeah it was insanely long ago now as i've said if you have a preference that's fine that's great i'm happy but ultimately cgi i want to take over and bad cgi and this was the thing that i wanted to bring up bad cgi is bad cgi we need to get rid of bad cgi Yes, bad CGI can hurt a movie, but bad practical effects can hurt a movie. Have you ever seen a movie and they have something in the movie that's practical, but it looks dumb? And you're like, they should have done that in CGI. And that happens in newer movies too. Now, obviously in older movies, when they only had practical, but I understand your preference is always going to be your preference. But my preference is use as much CGI as you can. Because the more we use, the better it gets, and the more we can translate to film. But this was Goku Furosum 1. Leave your comment below. Tell me what you think, and I'll see you next time. YouTube.